everybody. Here we are, all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Did you know that Horlicks, one of the best food drinks that you can buy, is also one of the most economical? Well, it's a fact. Horlicks, you see, already contains a goodly supply of rich, full cream milk. You need only to add water and mix well to have a sustaining, well-balanced drink. Quickly prepared, a glass full of this famous malted milk makes an ideal economical lunch, a fine light supper, or a cool, hot weather snack between meals. That's why it always pays you to insist on Horlicks, the original malted milk. For quality, for flavor, and results, no cheaper imitation can approach it. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Since Lum and Abner were unable to raise the money to buy back their Jotham Down store from Snake Hogan, they have decided to open a new type of business in Pine Ridge. They plan to build a store right on the chassis of Abner's big 12-cylinder automobile. And with the cash Lum has saved, they hope to purchase an opening stock of merchandise, a store on wheels, a rolling grocery that will make a house-to-house -house call every day. As we look in on our old friends today, we find Lum just entering Abner's front yard with news regarding the new enterprise. Listen. Hello? Hello? Get out from here, Blue. Hello? Hey, Abner! Shut up, Blue, for goodness sake. Who is it? Well, come in, Lum. I never knowed who it was. Get away from that, Blue. Get on up out of the house where you belong. Get, get, Yeah, out here bannering me for a fight, and he ain't got a tooth in his head. Oh, he makes me so mad sometimes. I threaten to run him clean off the plane. I just come over to tell you I made a deal with Caleb Weehunt to build that store on the car for us. Well, good. <laughs> uh, what do you want to charge us? Not a cent. Ain't going to cost us a thing. Well, that's cheap enough. <laughs> well, see what I've done. I swapped him that Sudan body that's on the car now for this body he's going to build for us. Well, that was a good deal, huh? Yeah, I thought it was. Why, well, Sure, we won't have no use for that, no way now. Oh, of course not. I don't know what Caleb would want with the automobile body when he ain't got the rest of the car to go with it, neither. Well, uh, he's going to put it on that spring wagon of his, no. Oh. See, he'll get some good out of it that way, all right. See, when he takes the whole family into the county seat, they always have to set a bunch of cane bottom chairs in the wagon for the women folks and the children to sit in. Yeah. This way, they can just all sit in the Sudan body. Why, sure, that's right. Well, now, that ain't a bad idea. Them cushions will be a heap more comfort than them chairs or a spring seat on a wagon would. Oh, yeah. They can just shut their eyes and think they're out car riding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I told Keeler. Yeah? Then if it comes up a rain, all they got to do is roll up them windows and they're there. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was plumb tickled to death over the deal for now. That leaves us that whole $350 of mine to buy a stock of groceries with. Why, sure, yeah. Get a little of my now everything with that much cash. Oh, yeah, we don't need much. <laughs> Couldn't haul no big stock around, no way. <laughs> Me and Caleb sort of drawed up some plans here for the way it's going to look. I want to show you that, too. Yeah. Well, sure, I believe this is the best business we ever got into, Lon. Oh, yeah. Everybody I've talked to just went wild about it. Well. <laughs> Even Dick Hudson. Well, you hear what he said when I explained it to him. Yeah, well, Elizabeth said it'll be the handiest thing at all for the women folks. Have my store, you know, just stop right smack dab in front of the house every morning. Why, of course. It's just going to put all these standing still stores out of business. Yeah. Now, here. Here's what me and Caleb brought up down there while I go for it to look like. Uh -huh. This here's the way it's uh, inside's going to look. See, there's the shelves along there on both sides. There. Yeah, well, now, now, wait a minute now. Let me get that straight in my head here. Uh, see, here's the front up here. Oh, That's yeah. where the driver sits. Huh? See, we'll take that Sudan body off of the car from the windshield on back, and then we'll set the body Caleb deals right on there where it was at. Well, now, that ain't going to work all wrong. Well, what you going to do if it rains? What do you mean, what are we going to do? Well, you better put some kind of a roof over it or you'll ruin everything in the store every time it rains. Oh, we're going to have a roof over it all That right. ain't got none there. Well, this is just the inside of it, Abner. Natural, a roof wouldn't show. Oh. See, the shelves and all that's going to be ranged like we got it here. Ah. Uh, this is the back end right here. That's where the customers will go in and out. It's going to make them go in the back way, huh? Well, yeah, I reckon we'll have to, Abner. Well, why couldn't we just call that the front end back there? That'll be a heap better than asking folks to come in the back door. They wouldn't like that. Well, we can't be going dragging the store around backwards, Abner. There ain't no way out of it. They'll just have to go in the back door there. 
See, they'll come in there, and we'll have some market baskets there by the door, and they'll pick up one of them and walk down through the store and do their shopping. And then I'll be sitting right about uh, right about there at my desk, and then they can pay me as they go out. You mean that you're going to be sitting back there at a desk? I'm sure you don't expect me to stand up, do you? I can be sitting back there writing letters and figuring up our income tax and all that stuff while we're driving from house to house. Well, I still can't make no sense out of the rest of that stuff you got drawn there. What's that box that's sitting there? What's that? Yeah. That's a refrigerator, ice box. Well, what do we need with one of them things? Why, to keep eggs and butter and milk and stuff like that in. See, we ain't going to have no well to let them down in and keep them cool like we did over to the them Down store. No, that's right. Uh, refrigerator set right there in the middle to sort of balance the wagon. Get it over on one side and hit a slanting place in the road might turn us over. Yeah, yeah, it might, yeah. The rest of it will be my night like the Jotham Down store. Groceries on this side over here and the dry goods and drugs and hardware over here. Mm-hmm. I don't think we ought to handle no furniture right at first anyway. Well, now, there's a place we could put it right there. Don't look like there's nothing else there, no way. Oh, that's where we're going to stack the flour and feed and hay and stuff like that, though. Well, how big is this thing going to be anyway, Lon? Well, it ain't going to be quite as big as the Jotham Down store. Mm-hmm. Caleb kept arguing that it ought to be littler, but I, <laughs> I know he was just trying to get out of using so much lumber and shingles. Shingles? Yeah, you've got to have a roof on it. You said that yourself just a minute ago. Yeah, but I never know if he's going to have shingles. Why, sure. It's going to be built just like the Jotham Down store, except it's going to be built on wheels. To, well, now, here's a picture we draw to the outside to give you an idea how it's going to look. Yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> I know that does look like the Jotham Down store. We're going to have a peak roof and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we uh, sort of patterned uh, it. Watch that, that thing sticking up through the roof right there. That's a stovepipe. Oh. You've got to have a stove in there. We'll freeze to death this winter. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't tell what it was at first. It looked sort of like a bird setting up there. <laughs> and back here is the porch. Yeah. It's the front end of the store, but the back end of the truck, see. Yeah. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's that reading on there? Where? Right there. That, that sign. Oh, <laughs> oh that's just, uh, uh, never mind. Just the name of our store. Huh? I just went ahead and put it on there to see how it looked. Eddard's Auto Grocery. Eddard? Yeah, but I got to thinking, I believe Lum's Limousine sounds eat better. Well, now, wait a minute here. Where'd I come in? What about calling it Eddard's and Peabody store? Recollect, I'm a half partner in this thing, too, Lum. Yeah, well, the only trouble ain't enough room to print all that across there, Admiral. Right? That Eddard's Auto Grocery takes up all the room we got there. You can see that yourself. We ought to put your name on there, too. We'd have to nail a board sticking way out the side there. That ain't going to look right. No. Well, uh, why couldn't you make them letters littler? And it'd all go on there, wouldn't it? Oh, no, we get to making the letters little that way, and folks can't read it from clean inside the house. They can't. I know. Pull up in front of the place, and they look out there, and don't know what it is. Well, now, you better be figuring out some way to get my name on there, for if yours goes on there, mind us. Uh, oh, son, to goodness, Abner. I might have known you'd start an argument about that. Yes, sir. What difference does it make whose name goes on there? Well, I just want folks to know that I own part of the store. Well, I'll tell them you own a part of it. Uh, now, let's just make it Abner's auto grocery, and I'll, I'll tell them that you own part of it. Wait a minute. I believe I've got a better idea than that. Rather than to have an argument about it, we can just call up the folks on the party line and let them pick out a name for it. Yeah, could be that, I can sure. Might be. We won't have neither one of our names on there. Pick out something else for us. Offer some prizes for the best name sent in. That way we can get a good name for the store and sort of advertise our new business, too. Why, sure. They get to talking around amongst themselves. Maybe I'll just call them right up this minute. Yeah, I believe that's a good idea. <laughs> you get a fire alarm in here, that'll push them to the phone. Yeah, no, if we're going to give some prizes for the best name, I might study up some myself. Call it the Pine Ridge Rolling Grocer. Uh, let me see. Wait a minute, they're listening in. I better start talking to you. Yeah. Howdy, everybody. I, I want to tell you about a big contest me and Abner's going to have. Uh, we've called you folks up this way with all sorts of problems, and you've always been nice about expanding and helping us out. Yeah. Now we've got a new one. We want you to name our new grocery store for us. A grocery store on wheels, built right on Abner's old automobile. Now just figure out in your own mind what you think would make a good name for an outfit like this. And be going... <laughs>
Norman Abner and Harley, who now bid you all goodbye until tomorrow at the same time.